you, I like me, you're a fan of Harry Potter, a special celebration of the wizarding world is back in West Michigan. Our Savannah Fish, our Hermione Granger of the morning, she is live at John Ball Zoo Woo! to take us on a magical tour. How's it going, Savannah? Hermione. Heck yeah, I'm Hermione Granger. Thank you so much for that introduction. Or Hermione, I'm not a Harry Potter wizard after all. Did you like that pun? That just came out naturally. We are live this morning in the Forbidden Forest at John Ball Zoo. We're hanging out with some Thermentors. Am I saying that right, Mike? Thestrals. Thestrals. Okay, there we go. All right, we're getting it right this morning. It's early. We're adjusting. But it's really spooky to tell us all about this wizarding weekend here at John Ball Zoo. I have Mike. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. This is really cool. You guys have really gone all out. A very spooky event. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so uh, today is uh, day two of John Ball Zoo's 2020 Wizarding Weekends, uh, which began yesterday, uh, continues on to today, and then next Saturday and Sunday as well. Okay, so, I mean, we have a lot of different kind of setups throughout the Forbidden Forest, just like these Thestrals. Um, what can people expect as they make their way to John Ball Zoo this weekend? So the zoo has really been transformed into uh, a wizarding uh, extravaganza, so very magical, family-friendly. Uh, but you're going to see wizard witches, uh, you're going to see all kinds of magical beasts throughout the zoo, in addition to uh, our continued Brick Live uh, exhibit and, of course, all the wonderful animals and species that call John Ball Zoo home. Yeah, and as we make our way through this dark, forbidden forest this morning, I mean, obviously, there's so many different animals here at John Ball Zoo, yeah. but we have a special guest this morning. Chloe's going to introduce us to this very scary turtle, oh, Bill. <laughs> not scary at all. Yeah, so this is my friend, Bill. He is an eastern box turtle, which is actually a species of turtle that's found right here in Michigan. You waving your little arms yeah. this morning. I'm going to say he has nice nails, kind of like me. I'm he just really kidding. Does. <laughs> yes, you have beautiful nails. So eastern box turtles are actually a really cool type of turtle because they're terrestrial, uh -huh. which means that they actually live more on the land than in the water. So he uses these nails to, you know, dig burrows and stuff in the mm -hmm. dirt instead of more so in the water like a lot of turtles do. Yeah, and you told me kind of a fun fact about his shell. Yeah, definitely. So one of the really cool things about turtles that not a lot of people know is that they actually can feel through their shells so when you touch them they actually know what's going on it's not like you know a rock on their back or anything yeah. like that so he can feel sometimes they get a little tickle on the back of their shell yeah. maybe so I love it and he's not he's not scary he's not gonna bite me right no, now okay all right all. this is live TV so anything yes, could happen right, exactly. right. <laughs> um, I mean how exciting is this weekend you guys what are you most looking forward to this weekend it's kind of switching things up and making things yeah, a little bit new definitely. and exciting here at the zoo. I'm just so excited to bring the community together. You know, yesterday we saw a ton of witches and wizards out dressed wow. in their, you know, Saturday best in all yeah. their robes, which is really exciting. So we just love getting everybody out here together. You know, I think that we should choose our houses by the end of the uh, morning here. You oh, know what I mean? Yes. Are we Gryffindor? Are we Slytherin? <laughs> I love it. All right. You guys, well, this is going on this weekend and next here at John Ball Zoo. So make sure you come on by. We also have more information at Fox 17 online. So make sure you head over there for more. But we're going to be here all morning, so make sure you stay with us. But for now, live in Grand Rapids, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News. <laughs> Thank you, Savannah. But by the end of the morning, I'm really hoping you're new, like live in Grand Rapids, Hermione Granger, Fox 17. Just waiting for it. <laughs> I <all>. love it. <laughs>